this is so comically insane, it's almost hard to even react, to even want to react, to even waste your time to react. But we have to and we will. Yeah, we have um, to. First and foremost, BNC, uh, black media, we show what's there. Uh, we show the demonstrators that are out there in support of justice for Ahmaud Arbery. Uh, I've asked several times on this program, uh, what about the support for the, the McMichaels and, mm -hmm. and the defendants in this case? There has been none. Uh, yeah. As a matter of fact, when it comes to the demonstrators out there, uh, the, uh, the the jurors go through a back door. That's been mm -hmm. reported right here on BNC. So there has not been uh, any kind of intimidation. Uh, I know they all brought up a, a little uh, boy that they thought was a girl on, on, on a bike. Uh, they bring, bring a child up right. into the situation. Uh, they bring a poster up about uh, John Lewis. Uh, so it sounds and it reeks of desperation uh, from the defense right now. I agree with you. And, you know, when I hear the terms like, um, you know, black people being intimidating, you know, we know the stereotypes. We know what that invokes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And the fact that, you know, they're looking for uh, quote unquote Bubba's, as they refer to them. Uh, we also know what mm -hmm. they mean by that, a jury of his peers. We know what yep. that means. So this is uh, a case with a lot of civil rights undertones and uh, feels very racially charged. So, yeah, they're definitely hitting below the belt on this one. Um, I'm not surprised. It's disappointing and, you know, uh, you hate to even talk about it. And then, you know, in reference to our coverage, um, you know, here on BNC, we've had the most extensive coverage of this of, of any network. I think what you see in a lot of the mainstream mm -hmm. media is elements are omitted. You know, they have, uh, I worked in local television news for almost 20 years. You have a minute and 20 to tell a story. That's how long a package runs. Mm -hmm. Here we're able to devote uh, entire newscast to these types of issues. So it's not that we're skewing it. I think it's that we're putting it all out there. And I think that that's the reality of the situation. The, the reality of the situation is we're bringing these issues to light that haven't been brought to light in years past. We're able to give it a platform. This is what makes BNC so unique and so needed when it comes to these types of issues. Like you mentioned, Local news can only give it a minute and 40 seconds, if that. Uh, maybe a national news uh, program like the other networks might not, they're not even really covering it that much until the trial actually begins. They're not doing the jury selection as much. I haven't seen it on, on any of the other networks. We're giving it extensive coverage, which we should because it affects our black community, not in just this situation, but this case affects all of us across the board coming off of what we uh, saw with the Derek Chauvin trial. We need to keep that momentum going because once again, I've said it many times before, we can take one step forward in trials like Der the Derek Chauvin trial. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden something like this uh, allows us to take two steps back because you think you've made progress, but then something like this happens where these three men possibly could get off and then you feel like you've taken two steps back as a black community. I understand the defense sometimes need to be desperate mm -hmm. and they need to go ahead and set things up just in case yeah. things go wrong because I got to do whatever I got to do for my uh, uh, my client. But once again, to to uh, it say uh, 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 that uh, the black media uh, is, is, is causing any kind of distractions or any kind of intimidation is absolutely insane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the word intimidation. And I think it also speaks to the fact, you know, you reference uh, one step forward, two steps back. We've never had a platform like this. And, and the fact that we can um, fill newscasts with these stories so much of our coverage um, I don't see reported anywhere and, and I'm always checking the stories, the cases. I don't know that um, it's necessarily a, a, an issue of it's happening more often. I just think for, for the first time that we have a, a platform where we can actually devote yep. our time to covering it.